Hey, hey, how's it going? Hi, guys. God, it's been ages, hasn't it? <laughs> just fell over. Started, <laughs> it's been absolutely ages. Here's why. So there we were, all set, ready for survey day, excited, anticipating what was to come. <laughs> um, because as you well all know, the survey is such a fundamental part of buying a boat. So the same sort of thing as when you get a survey on the house, it will pick up any wrongdoings or any faults in the boat before the sale goes ahead. If you're lucky, you can get one for around 800 quid, but they have been known to go up to about 13 hundred pounds okay so where do we start after what felt like a lifetime of waiting for six weeks for the survey day to come around we were really lucky because the seller offered us the opportunity to chug along up to the dry dock where the boat was going to be surveyed and about six hours learning how to chug the boat up the river or is it down the river so what a day of boaty magic i mean we were really treated we had about 10 river locks that we had to learn how to navigate through we had to learn how to chug the boat for about six hours to the designated survey docking area this is where things got a bit messy so the next day the surveyor came up to us and kindly explained that he had already spotted some issues with the hull from a distance so his etiquette was to basically have a look if he felt that the boat wasn't worthwhile he would pull us over to one side and give us the option to end the survey there rather than paying out a big wadge for a full survey which he knew wasn't going to turn out to be very good lo and behold after about 10 minutes of him walking around the vessel knocking it with this little hammer thing and drawing on it with bits of chalk and stuff he called me over and he pretty much just said don't buy this boat. His earlier suspicions were confirmed and in fact upon closer inspection the hull looked like it needed some quite serious repair. There was a hole in the hull. There was not a hole in the hull. Nearly a hole in the hull? Nearly. We agreed to take the advice of the surveyor otherwise I mean what's the point getting a surveyor and spending all that money in the first place? What are you doing in the background there? Just funny things. Bearing in mind this is the same surveyor who gave us some really valuable advice about the boat enchilada that we looked at a few months ago which actually when this boat went to survey with another surveyor ended up being condemned so this kind of gave us confidence in this surveyor's ability to pick out good and bad boats so he had already saved us a little bit in the past and stopped us wasting our money on a vessel that would have been yeah over the odds to fix as you can imagine the seller was just as devastated as us maybe even more in hindsight wondered if the surveyor should have carried on with the full survey that he would have then paid for instead of us the seller would have renegotiated the price for us and taking care of all the costs of the repairs what do you guys think yeah so basically if we hadn't all just been so dumbfounded at the time and devastated from this huge emotional energy dump then maybe it would have made sense for the seller and the surveyor to kind of organize taking things past that point i mean we felt so sad for the seller he was relying on the money for a deposit to put down on a house that he just bought we were still in the survey stage so we knew it was always going to be sort of hit and miss it was a tough situation because there were no winners here at all it turned out bad for everyone in the six weeks that have now passed boat prices are just skyrocketing the summer months have arrived where boat buying's more popular <laughs> more popular I think more and more people are trying to quit their day-to-day -day lives because of all this sort of covid stuff going on so it's gonna be hard from here on out but we are gonna make this happen a steely determination we're gonna make it happen we're gonna do it <laughs> stick with us catch us in a few days where we go full steam ahead on our boaty hunt and for anyone waiting for a whole in-depth video of our failed narrow boat experience and boat tour stick with us because it's coming cheers guys bye-bye